Okay, welcome back. Uh, we've got a child needs educating. So we'll give her to this guy. We've got a person, a woman needs marrying. Can we marry her to, none of my counts want to get married to my half sister apparently. Um, however the heir to a count wants to get married, so that'll do. That should still give us a marriage tie. <coughs> Hmm. I don't have any claims, do I? No. I'm still wounded. It's not going away. Yeah, my god, he has a lot of troops. I just don't. I've got, what, four, five, six, seven... Oh, I've got 8,000. 8,000 isn't so bad. With the help of some mercenaries, I've pushed that up to 10,000. Um, so if he were on, say, a thousand troops, he might actually let me go independent. Ooh, no longer wounded. If I can increase my martial score, I can get even more troops um, out of my own holdings. Um, I'm curious about these revolts. So you've got a revolt here for claim on the Arabian Empire, and you've got a revolt here for Sadadin claim on the Arabian Empire, and Khairadin's claim on the Arabian Empire. So none of them are independent. Oh no, we've got a revolt down here, which is Azam's claim on the Indi on the Arabian Empire. None of them are independence revolts. They're all trying to claim the empire. Frustratingly. I want to see independence revolts everywhere. I want to be an independence revolt. I want to go to my liege and tell him independence right now or else. What's the troop of the Shia Caliphate like? I don't know what happened there. Auto saving taking me out is much higher than ours. Right, yeah, sure. Should give him marriage ties bonus plus however much plus 30 that's not bad I mean having said that I've got five six thousand here I'm not sure how much of that is due to his medium crown authority like will that go up or will it go down if I go independent is the question uh, this guy is dishonorable but other than that I don't know what he's done I can try and imprison him but it's a terrible chance. He hates me. So I'm going to try and imprison him. I failed. I don't even know what he owns. Oh, it's this guy again. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Um, he's just constantly a pain. Right, this guy's getting a revoked title, I think. All of you guys just don't bother. Um, I'm going to revoke his title. He's just consistently a pain. And he has stupid allies as well. Like, everyone in my empire apparently is his ally. Shouldn't be a problem, it's just frustrating, mostly. April. It's these guys who will get caught by that. Oh no. Wrong way around. Oh well, still. Uh, we've converted a person to a different faith. Because of all his allies, we've got stupid. Uh... Oh, it... trying to drag people together. I mean, 
is just frustrating. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Right, you gather together. You, I don't care about. 26th June, 16th July. Okay. Stop. Right, 15th August, 30th July. I'm not sure where he's going either. 12th September, 2nd October. Like, what? He's going over to Kerman, apparently. Oh, well, let's see if we can trap him there. Uh, apparently not. 10th November, 16th November. <sighs> I never seem to be able to escape the AI like they can escape me. 2nd December, 24th December. I mean, it just seems to take me longer to get in between provinces. County of Zoranj is converted to the Zoroastrian faith, so that's nice. 20th January, 15th January, got him. Kill his army. Child needs educating. Don't really care because I can't get opinion bonus out of it. Right, we'll siege his holding down, and once we've got his holding, then I don't know what we'll do. Meanwhile, my liege will probably get into that horrible war that I wanted him to, where he loses all his troops, or he'll convert all my people to Islam or something. No, for some reason these guys aren't fighting back. It's their only war, so I don't know what's going on. Like, where are their troops? They've got enough troops to fight this battle. Got easily enough troops. Just can't see them anywhere. County of Surjan has converted. Great. Taking that holding. County of Kerman has converted. Oh wow. We're getting a lot of conversions going on. Zoroastrianism is on the rise. I like to see that. My concubine is pregnant. Possibly my wife. I didn't really check. <laughs> Things you wish you could say in real life. So I'm not, I don't think we'll get 100% for sieging this down. Yeah, 39%. I'm assuming he's not willing to surrender. No, the war is indecisive. So we've got to go and siege down his allies' territory as well. You... He's trying to escape, but he's not going to manage it. I think we've got ticking war score here. We've got ticking war score in him now as well. You, uh, a mayor has converted. A marriage has been made. Eighty-six percent. I don't see the point in continuing to siege these provinces. We might go kill these troops up here just to 
show them who's boss. But we've got the ticking war score now. We don't need to... Well, actually, I... my vassals aren't that concerned, apparently, about my uh, raised levies. However, what we could be doing instead is declaring war for Fars. Get our religious authority back up just a little bit. I believe it was the sheikdom, not the entire uh, satrapy. I'll tell you what, just come back here. I'd rather finish this off before going for an external war. 30th September, 22nd September. Great time together. Tengri Reformation. I was waiting for that. So the Tengri are now reformed, which means I can't try and convert them with my guys, which is a pain. Converting those guys up there is always quite a nice bonus. So we've imprisoned that guy, but we don't automatically imprison these people. Despite the fact that they're all traitors as well. But hey, whatever. Um... I'm going to just declare this war now, actually. I'd rather get the immediate bonus for my holy site. Yeah. Rather than wait to get an extra territory that I don't honestly care about. Uh, so who are your allies? Nobody I care about. How much troops do you have? Not much. I'll take it. Grab everyone up. Everyone. 7,000 troops there. Not a number of troops to shake a stick at, I'll tell you that. He's called this random shake I don't care about into the war anyway. There's the enemy troops. Not doing much. Just letting us siege the territory we want to take. The Shia are apparently uh, pacifists. The vassal levies raised too long. Go on speed 5 just to get these guys over here. And is my siege leader leading the army? Yes, he is. That's fine. And it's mountains, so he won't really be able to move me off it either. Once again, should be a fairly simple war of just sieging the holding down, going to peace. My brother, who has a claim on everything I own. Marry that guy. Oh yeah, this guy. Wasn't I going to revoke your title? There we are. Let's give it to... Somebody who's not ambitious. You're not ambitious. How would you like a random province in the middle of nowhere? I thought you might. If I do that there, yeah, he's only got plot uncovered. You can't ask people to join your factions before making a faction. That's a shame. So my leash still has troops. What's he doing? Where is he going? What? I don't understand you, AI. 
He's moving his troops away from the war zone so that he can do what? Like, there's no, there's no one else involved in this war, so the only war people are here. As far as I'm aware, there's no enemy troops anywhere other than over here. He's just gone in, he's sieged that territory. Oh, it's because he's got full control. He thinks that he's basically won the war already. So he's just wandering off. He doesn't care. He's going home. Um, how quickly can I win this war? No. I might give him it anyway, but I've got to refuse first. Because the problem is you can't say just wait. You can't say... I mean, really, essentially what there should be is there should be this option, which is I'll give you the next territory that I get control of. Um, because then, as soon as you get control of the territory, they can come and remind you, and you can say yes or no. And that's fine. I'd like that. Um, but you can't. You can't tell them that. You've got to tell them, I will give you something eventually. But then they'll just come back to you in, like, you know, a little while. And they will, you know, ask for whatever the most recent holding was, sure. But... If you haven't managed to gain a holding for a while, for me that would be, uh, I don't know, one of these ones that I actually like. So yeah, not great all in all. Let her rot. Who's in my dungeon anyway? Uh, this guy. And this person. Okay, grab some more prisoners there, to be ransomed, I feel. Ransom that person, ransom this person. Right. We should win this soon enough anyway. Child needs educating, my son needs educating. Jeez, it's been six years already. They grow up so fast. Okay. Okay, we now have Fars. Would you like to just give me it? No. Because you've still got troops. Um, sure. Yeah, he's in the mountains, but whatever. It won't matter. Uh, you can move. There we are, 100%. I'll take that. Thank you very much. My domain is too big. My... Was it my brother? Yeah, my brother does want to gain a title. So he can have Fars. There you are. Now he's going to hate me because... Well, I denied him a title. Yeah, title claimant as well. He dislikes. But I gave him a title as well, so... That's a bonus. Right, did we take that territory? Was that white piece? Uh, we lost... Okay, what does that mean in terms of your current power level? Also, who your allies? Your allies are no one important. Your power level is down to 3,000. So if I quickly started a faction for independence, let's try it. You know, he'll say no. Then war it is. Oh, you see, we've got no troops. However, I think he has no allies. <sighs> so. We're going to need some mercenaries here. And I might also have to leave this, yeah. I'm going to leave this till next session. I, to be honest, can't be bothered dealing with this right now. Um, but when I come back, we will hopefully gain independence and, I don't know, kick the Safrids in the face. And from there, the world or Tartaria. <laughs> See you next time. Have a good one.